everyone, this is a video tutorial to help you understand the requirements for the spatial orientation that an E2 reaction has. So because this is all happening in a concerted step and we need to form a pi bond, the beta carbon's hydrogen that is being lost and the halide group that is leaving have to be either in a syn periplanar orientation to one another, meaning right behind one another in an eclipsed conformation, or they have to be anti one another. So it's a staggered conformation, exact opposite. The reason for that is when the pi bond forms, you have to have the p orbitals for each of those carbons parallel to one another to optimize the overlap. So just keep this in mind when you're dealing with an E2 reaction. It will affect things, especially when we're talking about cyclohexane reactions.